for a nice easy dunk for KP. First two buckets for Dallas. Former All-Star Gordon Hayward jump shot no good. Well for PJ it's game number 16 of the season after he was out with an illness non-COVID on Friday night in the win against the Kings for Charlotte. It's another empty possession down the floor. The clean sheet continues for Dallas. Same play last <laughs> night out of bounds that led to the same result. Your Hayward. Teammates. And Oubre puts Charlotte on the Finally. board, Harp. 17 a night for Oubre. Is how well he plays as a starter. Yes. I mean, you know, it's one thing to come off the bench, but then your numbers go up when you start. So he had a 10 nothing run himself last night in the third quarter that really helped Dallas. And I asked Jalen about it after the game. He said, I probably started a little timid last night. They've got the kind of guys that can all switch screen and roll yeah. in the playoffs when everybody starts playing that's, all that, the that, That's lineup. a heck of a point because you're talking the other side of the ball. Nice pull up there. They are still missing their normal starting point guard, LaMelo Ball. Their starting center, Mason Plumley, and a couple of backups. Good dive by Benny yeah. Smith, who was a big time assist guy. When you look at his career numbers last night, he had five. Gordon Hayward loses his footing on the drive, is able to execute the kickout pass to Cody Martin, who has to put it up at the end of the shot clock. Hayward diving into the bench. This year, Hayward almost 18 points, five boards, four assists a game. They have a lot of players right around that area 17, 18 points. Mellow ball, 20 points. Charlotte out of a timeout. Mavs have the lead. Back up the digits, but not for long as they execute a play out of a timeout. It's tied for 10th in the NBA this year in offensive fouls drawn with 14 going into play tonight. You know, the, there, there, there should be some incentive for a guy that's willing to sacrifice himself and take charges. A lot of guys won't do it. So the new thing added to the equation, Burke was the assist guy for the bench unit last night with five assists, a season best. Had a made jumper that time down for Terry Rozier. And a loose ball here that is turned over by Dallas. Hayward in transition, he'll let it rip and makes his first basket of the game. That 30 point lead, or maybe even more, depending on what they do if they defend. Come down. Oh! He defended okay, but the you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. Shots made by Gordon Hayward. We've got a loose ball situation here, rolling around. Here it is. picked it up. There was no shot clock violation. And almost a bank hit three by Cleveland from near half court. Sure to lock to start the second half. Bridges got that one drive opportunity hard. Yeah. And the ball hasn't come his way very much here. Other than that, this three a moment ago. Now Charlotte's made a run from down 30 to down 19 right now. Late clock situation, three-pointer is he. Five minutes gone by in the third, and Hayward grabs the rebound and stays in bounds and saves it into Oubre. The rebound and stays in bounds and saves it into Oubre. One thing you don't want to do is give this team any kind of life. Good defense that time. One thing you don't want to do is give this team any kind of life. Good defense that time. But sneaking in for the offensive rebound was Hayward. Miles Bridges drives and it bounces home. And you can tell they've got some life. Yeah. Boy, those guys could fall. Biddy Smith knocks down a three for Dallas as the Mavs have been in three point shooting mode. They're e boy. That was an intense dunk by Dorian Biddy Smith that led to a Charlotte timeout. Hayward, a three pointer. They've made 16 of the two-pointers and 14 of the three-pointers. Yeah, we, we know how good this team is when they make threes. They were anywhere. And the league's leading three-point shooting team at 38%. They're only 32 tonight on their three.